retour au défi Alpha Condor. Euh, je suis en compagnie de Aaron, qui, qui, Aaron P. qui fait la portion en anglais avec moi. On va maintenant passer en anglais pour être sûr de ne pas perdre <laughs> trop de spectateurs. Hey Aaron, how are you? Good, Bruno. How's it going? Uh, good, good, good. So far, the tournament is going really well. It's great. Uh, yeah, we had a great round last round uh, to watch. Uh, and the first one was exciting. Um, and we've got so many leagues here uh, representing uh, from Quebec and a couple from Ontario. Um, and up now we have Dave B and Marc André. Yeah, Marc André Larocque is a, a uh, Condor squad, so he's work, okay. working with, with us. Home uh, team. Home team, so I'm, I'm trying to be uh, impartial <laughs> in my commentary here. Mm -hmm. He's a good player. He's not been playing for a long time, maybe a year, year and a half, that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he has a background in 40K, okay. but he doesn't have the attitude of 40K, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dave Brunel plays in Montreal, Montreal uh, downtown. Mm -hmm. so he's a good player also. Uh, he's a latecomer to the tournament, so I, I think he registered like two days ago. Wow. He bought the ticket of somebody that was, could not make it, so... I think he really wanted to, to be there. Mm -hmm. So we should have a good game. Mm -hmm. You see Marc-André Larocque, his last game uh, went to time and he lost by like 10 points. So oh, it was wow. a good game. There's got quite a list going on. That yeah. is one heavy quick draw at 42 points. We got expertise, fire control system, and harpoon missiles. Uh, prime thrusters, so he can do a red maneuver and still get an action. Uh, lightweight frame, so he's got three dice, and the title, of course. That is a huge quick draw. Uh, and one of my favorite ships, Countdown, uh, with lightweight frames and adaptive ailerons. Of course, Countdown's ability is the ability to, when he's hit by a shot and he is unstressed, to, instead of taking damage normally, take just one damage and a stress token. Um, and then we that's got... A, that is great against Harpoon and, you know, four attack dice and stuff like that. Yep. It's, uh, it's a bit frustrating, you know, when you pull all of your, of your attack might on this ship and you, you do one damage and mm -hmm. not even a crit. Go, yep. ah. <laughs> he's a great game, if he, if, he's a great ship if he can be saved for the late game. Yeah. Um, because when your opponent has even less firepower on the table, uh, he becomes very difficult to take down. And throwing three red attack dice, yeah. he can do damage. Oh, yeah. For a sweet 22 points. That's awesome. And then the Countess. Super Riad with expertise and X7. Uh, so that is fairly powerful list. A lot of the damage potential is on quick draw uh, with the harpoons and also, of course, her double tap. Yeah, and I'm curious to see how you will protect quick draw throughout mm -hmm. the game to make sure that is is end game. On the other side, we have Dave with also quick draw, quick draw, the Inquisitor and Captain Yor, and he seems to be setting up to castle. <laughs> Or fortress. Oh wow, yeah. He's got the Inquisitor behind your, I think. It's difficult to say. He's got pretty standard loadouts on those guys with expertise on quick draw. So it's much slimmer quick draw on this side. So I think Dave has to worry about uh, losing ships in this match. Uh, if he gets down a ship, it will be hard for him to come back. Yeah. What do you think of that? The Lambda shuttle without Palpatin. Oh, Palpatin is there. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We cannot edit that. Eh? <laughs> can't, can't remove that. No. Uh, we'll edit it out. Okay, Don't worry, right. Bruno. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, Palpatine will help here. But the only person who can take a harpoon missile shot uh, and avoid all damage is the Inquisitor. So if two ships get on the Inquisitor, something's likely to go through. Yeah. What would be your target priority if you were Marc-André? Uh, I think you have to deal with the Inquisitor. This is a strange opening. I'm not quite sure what uh, Dave is doing over here. Uh, if you're right and he just fortresses and sits there, then Marc-André is really going to have to come in carefully. It does look like that's Dave's plan. All the rocks are organized in the center. Yeah. So uh, it looks like he has no plans of taking Yor into that center of the board. He'll either go right 
or go left and stick uh, along his own board edge. Yeah. So we already bumped, I think, because he's shown a, a dial but didn't move anything. So. Mm -hmm. I hope they will fist fight. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I, it's not great to watch people fortress for four rounds. No, no. And it builds a certain kind of anxiety, too, trying to watch it. Yeah, yeah. Like, because nothing's happen? happening, right? Yeah. So Marc-Andre is just getting his ships in there, sending him out fast. I guess he'll try to flank. Uh, yep. I like the uh, striker. Oh, I love the striker. It's one of my favorite ships. I can't play it, though, but I no. like it. <laughs> it's a thing that takes practice. Oh, yeah. The adaptive run there, it's, for me, it's, uh, it's hard, really hard. If you play advanced sensor ships mm -hmm. uh, and you do barrel rolls or boosts before you, you reveal your dial, yeah. it's similar to that. You've got a little bit to play with. Not a lot. It's not a lot to play with, but it is something. And yeah. I mean, if you're flying a striker, you can sometimes dodge a bomb um, because yeah. you've got some maneuver and you go, oh, damn, a bomb. Maybe <laughs> I can get out of here. Yeah. All right. So is it me where he did not take any action with the striker? I or think he barrel rolled. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it looks like oh, he's yeah, going to go sense. the long way around. And if you were Dave, who would be your target, first target? I think you have to outposition the enemy quick draw. Uh, so he's not holding the fortress. No. Well, he might still do it with uh, his quick draw. Right. But it is more sensible, I think, to get uh, the Inquisitor out into a flank position. Yeah. Yeah, if I were Dave, um, well, you're not going to kill Ryad fast, um, and all attacks on the enemy quick draw will cost you, unless you can get that quick draw out of position. Oh wow, Marc Andre's quick draw is moving first. That's huge. So he's going to have to be Marc Andre is going to have to be very careful uh, with his quick draw. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if he can if he can manage to you know tr make a trap or bring Dave within the Asterisk field. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I think it's probably bad for Dave to go into the asteroid field. Yeah. And there's just not a whole lot of places for Yor to go. Oops. Okay, he's not blocking. No. He's not eager to fight either. No. But the Inquisitor is fast, and he can get around for that flank pretty fast. And if Quick Draw, sorry, if the Inquisitor is shooting at Quick Draw and is only in Quick Draw's back arc, that's not so bad. The Inquisitor no. can handle that fire, even if she double taps at him. So while we're uh, waiting for dials to be revealed here, do you want to go through some of the leagues and escadron and sure. groups that are here? Yeah. So we've got the Bytown smugglers, smugglers yeah. from Ottawa, from out of town, coming in to <laughs> yeah. take the tournament. From the national uh, capital there. Yeah. <laughs> and then we've got those jerks from the Prototype Toronto League. We've got a couple of them here. Yeah, yeah I, I tried to block them, but yeah. they managed to go through my, uh, my defenses, but I don't know. I, I don't blame you, those guys. <laughs> But you know what? The PTL was one of our major sponsors. Uh, they were really generous and gave us a lot of prices to give out today. So maybe the PTL player will go home with <laughs> PTL prices. Ah, <laughs> would serve him right. <laughs> and then, of course, we've got uh, League Frog de Quebec. Yeah, the Frog Squadron. Uh, because, you know, Quebecers are called frogs, so they, yeah. they own it. <laughs> yeah, from Quebec. There's uh, five or six guys from Quebec, so that's, uh, mm -hmm. that's huge because usually the guys from Quebec, they don't travel a lot mm -hmm. outside of the Quebec region. Okay. There's only a core or hardcore people, mm -hmm. players that come around. And so to have five people from them is really good. Yeah, cool. 
And uh, one of them is François Beaumont, right? François Beaumont. We saw uh, him in Nationals. Right? Yeah. Yeah, François is quite good, and he does all of the tournaments. Yeah. I think he travels to the USA to do mm -hmm. uh, system opens. Oh, wow. Mm. That's dedication. Yeah. Is there rivalry between uh, League Frog and uh, Nil Khan? No. No, okay. no, 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 not really. <laughs> <laughs> and so, of course, we have uh, Nil Khan. That's you guys. Nil Khan? Yeah, isn't that what you Isn't that how you abbreviated? Maybe no. you were ki no, kidding. No, no, oh, okay, pardon no, me. No. I listened to an episode of your show and you were briefly. Yeah, we try to. Yeah, we try MCB for Millennium Condor by the Good Fusion. Uh -huh. MCB is good. Milcon, I don't think so. No, okay. Or uh, Condor Squadron is good also. Condor, okay. Yeah. All right. Pardon me. Folks. You know where that's from, right? The Condor? Because, uh, you know, the, the first movie, uh, New Hope, when it came out and the, the translation was done in France, mm -hmm. so they translated the Falcon with Condor. Mm -hmm. So oh. it's really bad. So it's, uh, you know, it's wink wink at them. Uh -huh. for that. I it, didn't know that. There's all kind of bad translation in that, in that mm -hmm. movie, really, really bad. But it becomes canon, of course. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. yes. So we got a nice bank from Ryan lining up a straight blast or a long bank next round. Yeah, he has room for the next few rounds to move. Yeah. So, it looks like Marc-André can choose to come in through those asteroids and engage. Hopefully pass through them entirely by the time he gets to uh, Dave's ships. Yeah. I think he's holding quick draw in the back, you know, mm -hmm. wait for his opportunity. Hmm. I'm unused to seeing a, a ship move before uh, countdown. Yeah. I thought maybe he was doing them out of order. But both Riot and Countdown are fives. Oh. Nope. I think he's fine. It's just. Oh, yeah? Oh, it's the angle pesky, of the camera? Yeah, okay. The oh, pesky yeah. Easy. tops on the uh, <laughs> strikers. All right. I do find when I'm flying strikers, they only keep their tops on on about half the rounds. The rest okay. of the time, they have to come <laughs> off. And what did the Inquisitor do? Where is he going? Oh, it's okay. a small turn. So I think Dave is a more of a cautious mm -hmm. player. He's taking his time. Yeah. May, forcing Marc-André to go through the asteroids. Maybe Marc-André should have been a bit more patient. But well, you know, we never, it's early in the game to talk about strategy, so. I mean, Ryad could still go straight next round. Mm -hmm. Um, and then try to position herself with a barrel roll to come back behind your. But with uh, X7 and expertise, Riot has very little to fear. I mean, she might take a damage here or there. Yeah. But it's going to be slow work to bring her down. It, it feels like a you know a western. You got both cowboy at mm -hmm. each end of the road, and they're sizing themselves to see uh, what's gonna do. Uh, so they're waiting for somebody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then they were, yeah, the wind with the tumble. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Dave is just fanning his guys out. Oh, right. Having quick draw in front of his Inquisitor is going to commit him to something a little faster from the Inquisitor. And they're back to dials. Well, maybe we should finish our list of leagues and groups. So we've got Escadron Montréal. Escadron Montréal. Mm -hmm. Those are the guys that play at the Abyss mm -hmm. and some other store around. So it's a, mostly the Montreal community. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's a few stores in Montreal, so they play in many stores. So instead of going, well, we're going to represent the Abyss, they, uh, they choose to Montreal Squadron, uh, and it is led by Mathieu, uh, Mathieu Raymond, which is the guy with the Rebel pi pilot costume. Oh yeah, yeah. that's great. <laughs> really a nice guy. And we got Neo Valhalla. Yeah, Neo Valhalla is a, a nice store mm -hmm. on the south shore of Montreal, and he's building his community, and he's doing a lot of work, you know, to bring players. He's doing a league, a tournament league, so every... I don't know. Every three weeks, there's a tournament, and you you know you uh, you rank 
within the league with your score in the tournament and at the end of eight tournament you have a final and so on so it's uh, cool. and you can join anytime you want because it's oh, okay. an average of your points so even oh, if you do that's only a good do system. yeah so and his, his community is growing he's putting a lot of effort in that uh, in that community cool i mean one of the things we found in toronto uh, especially after the last eight nine months maybe a year with the competitive play is that the league play matters a lot it's one of the things that will keep people coming back to the yeah, game yeah even if they're not having fun at the major tournaments anymore because of the shape of the meta uh you need to keep your league your league yeah. play going and going strong yeah, because in the league you see different format different squad the, diff, the the meta is not the same yeah really not the same so yeah and then we've got jj squad uh, yeah, those that is a big crew. They are mm -hmm. really motivated. You've seen their shirt, right? Mm -hmm. So they do all the, the tournaments. They go to the nationals, they go to the regionals. Some of them travel to the open systems. So uh, and they are really, really good. Uh, Sebastien Dupuis, not this national, but the one before that, went did the top four, mm -hmm. or top eight with the triple skirt list. Oh yeah, so really. Oh, uh, I remember that. That was a great list. Yeah. That was a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. And then we have the Windrunners from Drummondville. Yeah, Drummondville. Those guys, they play in different stores because they don't have a big community. They're just a few guys. Uh, really motivated, really nice guys. Even one of them went to France for his study, mm -hmm. did the national there, mm -hmm. and brought us back a couple of prizes from l'Escadron des Têtes Brûlées, which is the big, the big squadron in Paris. So, uh, yeah, really, really good. And they, they play also in the Vassal League, and right. they have a good performance there. That makes for good players oh, playing yeah. Basel. And it's a trap from Trois Rivières. Trois Rivières, you know, Trois Rivières is right between Montreal and Quebec City. Mm -hmm. So uh, they have a nice community. It's easy for them to travel to Montreal, it's easy for them to travel to Quebec City. Uh, and I know that uh, Stéphane Trepani works a lot, you know, to bring players there, to build this community. So we have a lot of really uh, motivated people <laughs> that, mm -hmm. that tries to bring it, you know, uh, around. It's cool. Um, I mean, motivated people are often some of the best. In the oh, you need crazy but, people like yeah. me to, to, and you, I guess, to, yeah. Uh, yeah, to keep it alive. And then we've got Mad Squad from Abbey TV. Yeah, these guys are crazy. They they drove <laughs> all <laughs> yeah yesterday all day from uh, Amos, mm -hmm. which is really high north. Uh, high, I mean, it's far. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, they came also to the last Montreal Regional. They are a supporter of the uh, the podcast. Mm -hmm. They they are really active, and since the the region where they play, they have one store. But each little community of two to three players is like two hours away from each other. Oh wow! So they travel with a they call it it's a kit. Mm -hmm. It's full of X-wing ship for mm -hmm. sale from their store. So they go, they do demos mm -hmm. in people's. Um, in people's uh, living room, <laughs> yeah. like a Tupperware presentation, <laughs> they do that and they, they, they show X-Wing to people in their living room, then they sell the stuff and they bring back the profit to the store. Wow, so it's, yeah, it's, it's uh, awesome. Those guys are crazy. Hey, can I tell you a little bit about X-Wing? <laughs> <laughs> do you have a few minutes, ma'am? I, I just want to know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Okay, so we have Riot breaking away here, uh, as I thought she might. Uh, oh. We have one last one, sorry. Uh, uh, wait, wait. We have uh, Daniel that says, hey, Escadron Tête Brûlée présent. So we have somebody in France <laughs> right now that is listening to us. So, uh, bonjour Daniel. I guess it's uh, Daniel Pelayo, which is uh, one of the strongest players in France. Uh, bonjour, so. hello. <laughs> All right, sorry, you were, uh, you were talking about the yeah, game, right? just me talking, <laughs> yeah. Um, that's great. I mean, it's great to have uh, viewers from all over the world. It's awesome. Oh yeah, we have uh, Academy Po Dameron. Academy Po Dameron, it's, uh, it's a little crew that they play really amongst themselves. Mm -hmm. You see the big banner they made, they all have their bowling shirts mm -hmm. uh, and they buy a lot of stuff from Millennium Condor and they're also Patreons of the show. Really motivated, but it's strange because they keep to themselves. They don't play really in any store specifically. They do tournaments all around, but mm -hmm. they, they play together. They have their own leagues and uh, yeah. Mm, cool. Cool. Well, wow. so glad to see so many different leagues and groups here. Yeah. And it really is the, a lot of the, the league stuff and the squadron stuff that uh, helps. I mean, it's one of the things that helps make uh, X-Wing have different communities from, say, uh, Warhammer and stuff like that. Because, you know, people are playing in groups, as groups sometimes. Yeah. The thing I like with X-Wing, 
you play against somebody, that's for sure. But mm -hmm. from my point of view, the first thing is that you're playing with somebody. You mm -hmm. know, you want to win for sure, but you're playing with the guy. You're you're not there to kill him. You're not there to destroy him and make fun of him or anything like that. So you're playing with somebody. Yeah. That's what brought me to X Wing. Mm -hmm. I'm having fun with somebody yeah. playing a game. Let's make it competitive. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's like chess. You you play to win, but yeah. Um, I mean, you also play uh, so that your opponent will have fun with the game. And yeah. I do find it strange when people aren't interested in that. No, uh, you know, it's weird. People that ha are having fun denying people play or mm -hmm. making other people having a bad you know experience and stuff. Mm -hmm. Some people crave on that, but yeah. Not, so, mu not no, so much an X. No, it's a chance. I'm not sure if there are any shots there. I don't think so. Oh, no. We're, we're still on quick draw moving. Hmm. So what should Marc-Andre do here? Go left or right with the barrel I would roll? go right. Yeah. He'll be facing down the shuttle, though, in the next round. I mean, this is one of those philosophical conundrums when uh, fighting against the palp shuttle. Do you attack the palp shuttle or yeah. do you go for the other guys? Maybe he'll try to have like a first flight of firing on him and mm -hmm. then try to get behind him. Yeah, if he can get it down just a little bit beyond half, then uh, he'll be in good shape. Let's see what Dave does with his quick draw. You know, he's come, he's come into the, uh, the corridor of death. He's trying to decide where he's going to barrel roll to. It's kind of a standoff between the Inquisitor and Quick Draw. They are both laying back, waiting for the kill. So. Yeah. I don't. If I were Dave, I wouldn't be totally happy with the Inquisitor being behind Quick Draw like that. Mm -hmm. uh, it limits the, the Inquisitor's moves. He can't do it too straight if he wants to. So maybe he'll barrel roll, quick draw back, and out. Uh, he's choosing his action right now, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Games of Imperial Aces are some of my favorites, uh, in large part because they're head games. It's you versus your opponent. Oh yeah. Uh, at a strategic level, I mean, sometimes rebel lists versus rebel lists are just dice games. It's just a bunch of yeah. throwing dice. There's many things that goes on automatically, you know. Yeah. They're on easy mode. I mean, not so much the uh, four ship kind of list that we saw with uh, uh, we saw last round, uh, which you know requires a lot of positioning. Mm -hmm. You do yeah. position only once, but it's important where you end up. Two to three rounds later, you have to be able to get back around and yeah. attack the enemy. Okay, so we did do the barrel roll. So I guess he'll try to flank. So he's got expertise on, Dave has expertise on his quick draw. So next round he could afford to do a one straight and a barrel roll just to see. He can do the one straight and then see for then the barrel see, roll yeah. what, what's happening. I think that's no range. No. Now, does Yor have a block on Ryad? Can he? I don't think so. I was thinking maybe a three bank, but I think that puts him on the rock. It's hard to see, eh, with the, uh, the yeah. angle there. I mean, it's fun to guess and yeah. then see if yeah. you're right, but it's not like looking at the table. Have you seen any player that you know around? Uh, here today? Yeah. Uh, yep. I mean, I, I've, I've met Francois uh, from Frog yeah. the League, and uh, I've met a couple other people in passing. I think I met a couple of the guys from JJ Squad okay. at Nationals. Yeah. And just to say hello, uh, I played at Nationals, but then I did casting the other days, so I was pretty tired, actually. <laughs> I guess. It was difficult to socialize because I was trying to stay awake. All right. Well, this next round will be it. Do you, no, it's not possible for uh, Marc Andre to drop the shuttle in one round. I don't think so. No. Wow. That would be a feat. Yeah. Okay. 
Somebody's going to get hurt. Yep. <laughs> I like this spot for the shuttle. I mean, it's going to take some fire this round, but next round it can do a straight, th say a three, uh, if it wants to. Of course, Ryad will just 5K behind it, if she feels like it. You think a barrel roll might get him out of the arc? No, huh? I don't think so. No. I think he's best just to tank. Yeah. I'd be very surprised if uh, Malcandre went for a quick draw here. Uh, sorry, uh, for Ryad. Yeah. I think he'll choose all guns on uh, countdown to try to get him down, or push some damage through on quick draw while he can. Yeah, countdown is it's kind of a trap, right? You mm -hmm. you can say, oh, I'll ignore, ignore him because I can do damage and I'll concentrate on another ship, but then then he, in the end game, he's going to hurt you. So. Oh, is this a bump? No. No? Oh, it's a one turn. Nice. Yep. Sweet. All right. He didn't even have to take the ship off the stand. Nice. <laughs> yep. It looks like Yor is in some serious trouble. That might be two range one shots. Yay. That, that's possible. If Marc-André gets the dice, he's really going to smash things up. I think it's safe to uh, to guess that his priority is Palpatine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and a one straight from his own quick draw will set him nicely. Yeah. For the harpoon. Neither of them has advanced sensors on their quick draw. No, we have prime thrusters on Malcolm Blaise. What's that for? Uh, so um, the Inquisitor pushed the limit, and oh, uh, your takes the stress. Okay. took the stress. Yeah. Whoa! Oh. Wow! Why? That's balls out. Well, then, you know the the pilots out of the Imperial Academy, they were really good. So <laughs> it's uh. Oh, he was just checking it. Oh, for fun. Yeah. What? Oh no, he went out of order. Okay. Judge. <laughs> DQ. Fist fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. This also is gutsy. Target luck for the harpoon, I guess. Mm hmm. Ah. No. Out of arc. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's where he thinks uh, Dave's quick draw will not go. Hmm. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I think that Dave just target locked uh, uh, mm, the Countess. Okay, folks, here it comes. So it's Marc Andre's quick draw first. Yeah. Yep. And she can't shoot missiles. She can just throw dice. Why only two? Okay, quick draw. Yeah. Okay. In the box, Marc Andre. Everybody forgets. Want me no. to go and kick his ass or no? no okay. Dave is remembered. So hit crit. That's pretty good. Are we allowed to swear on your uh, stream? Yeah. We, we, Mildly? Mildly. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. In French only. Really? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to swear in French because I don't understand the severity yeah. of it. So I, I don't know. You know. Can I say tap on that? Is that no, okay? that's that's a big one. Oh, whoops. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. All right, so three hits. That must be Dave's quick draw. And is that... We thought so. Ooh. Blank, blank. I think you just spend the evade here, take two. You would keep the uh, the focus. Yeah. 
I think uh, he heard you. Yeah. <laughs> I should try being more quiet. <laughs> Although, just because, you know, commentator guy from Toronto thinks it's the thing to do doesn't mean it's the thing to do. <laughs> All right, and here we have the Inquisitor. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, the reason I would in that circumstance is because... Ugh. Okay, Marc-André needs to buy more dice, yeah. new dice. Yeah. With, uh, you know, three shots coming in on uh, Ryad like yeah. that, you can expect better dice on one of the rolls. It's like yeah, You could have... expect, but yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> So we spent the focus there. Riot is now tokenless, and she's taken four damage. Yeah. So I guess now it's uh, pilot skill of Riot that is the issue. Mm -hmm. I mean, if uh, Dave can finish this round with Riot off the table, that's yeah. a huge thing. Not sure what happened there. Somebody made a decision, I think. So, who's that hacking now? Uh, That's uh, four dice. Yeah. That's Riad? Yeah, okay. must be Riad. Tokenless? Two? Oh, no, expertise, expertise right? Okay. Nothing for. All right. Oh wow, is he holding on to the focus token? He is. Oh, he wants to uh, finish mm -hmm. Riot. Okay. It's entirely possible. She has two hull remaining, if our math is right. So, countdown? Yep. Oh my god, okay. Not bad. No. So it's been a lot of damage on your. Okay. Inquisitor? No. That's uh, uh, okay. Now it's your. Yeah. Yeah. So Palps, he uses Palpatine. Oh, it's exactly what he needs. Oh. Riot is tokenless. He would need to roll. Oh, Whoa. he really needs to buy new dices. He does. So Riot is triple dead. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was a huge blow for Marc Andre. I guess you were right when you uh, said that uh, he should have barrel rolled his Countess to the yeah. right. Tried to get out arcs. If he could. Well, what do you do now if you're Marc Andre? Do you tr try to finish your? Oh, yeah. You have to. You really yeah. have to. I mean, there's only two hull remaining on your. Yeah. You would like to be able to finish your uh, with quick draw shot. And so, attack with the. Yeah. So nobody would be getting the Palpatine modification after that. Yeah. But you never know. Wow. Your doesn't have great places to go right now, but if he goes straight or banks one. He can force Countdown to use a, to do a sloop, and that will leave him vulnerable to the other two guys. Uh, countdown ha has a K turn, right? Yep. Which speed? Two. Oh, okay, uh, that's short. Yeah, but uh, he, he does his ailerons first, so it's about a four with some flexibility. Yeah. The trouble is that leaves him stressed, and if he's stressed, he can't use his ability, and quick draw, Dave's yeah. quick draw and Inquisitor can kill him. Yeah, and they're placed with the arc in the right direction, so... Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think Marc Andre just has to do a one straight with his quick draw. Maybe a one bank. And hope to get into a position where he can block Dave's yeah. quick draw. 
maybe Yor will try to block Countdown. Yeah. That's for sure. I mean, he can't stay still because no. he's stressed, so he has to move forward or bank. Yeah, Mark must be really a happy camper with his wife. <laughs> yeah, so someone, uh, Danielle, says uh, three virgin of AIDS is what the uh, triple blanks are called in France. Did I get that right? Yeah, yeah. No, oh, okay. And they say that when someone is so unlucky like that, it's because he's, uh, he has a, a woman really in love with him. So, yeah. Maybe I should ask myself some questions because uh, my <laughs> dice are not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you should. <laughs> I have terrible dice. I'm happy really? to say. Really? Oh, all right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I roll blanks all the time. <laughs> I don't know. I might uh, just, if I were uh, Marc-André, uh, not go after um, your this round. And instead, just try to get Countdown in a position to block the Inquisitor and or Quick Draw. And give it another round. Yeah. So, Yor will be worth 32 points once he's dead. And Ryad was worth 36. So, Not enough. Yeah, even if Yor dies, it still leaves uh, Dave in the lead. Maybe somebody will shoot at Marc Andre's quick draw, mm -hmm. enable him to fire upon the uh, the shuttle. Mm -hmm. Maybe we maybe he'll get lucky with that. Yeah, he's stuck with you know having to choose between between two bad decisions. You know, mm -hmm. whatever he does. He, if something will, will go wrong. <laughs> yeah. He's got prime thrusters, though. So he could sloop, Malcantle could sloop with his quick draw to the right and then use a barrel roll to reposition to try to uh, get out of any arcs that the Inquisitor might have. And he could go for a block with his own countdown uh, on the Inquisitor try to leave Dave's forces pointing the wrong way yeah. so he can come around more quickly get his harpoons off he ended up only two damage away from killing Yor so if he had used his harpoon with his quick draw he may well have finished him yeah. okay we have the one bank it's time for the train tracks what do you guys call the train tracks around here? The train tracks. Oh, okay. <laughs> In French, it's a, <laughs> they track the train. We do choo choo. Choo choo. choo, -choo. Yeah. Because we can't use words, so we make sounds. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> sounds are good. Sometimes when I'm playing X Wing and it's really intense, I'd run out of words too. Yeah. I'd just like move your thing over to the thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now what did Countdown do? Open Boats has an uh, interesting point there. Mm -hmm. If Mark gets behind Yor with Countdown and then he puts Quick Draw in a position to punish Dave, if he goes for Countdown, he could start to bring this back. Yep. There's a lot of hiff. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the uh, Imperial Ace on Imperial Ace game. Yeah. It's, it's all, if he does this and I do that. Okay, so it looks like he did do the sloop with quick draw. But the, uh, okay. Ooh, I don't know. It leaves him so vulnerable. Yeah. What? Did he do the, uh, the boost first? He tried, but he bumped. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, so, so we started from there. Yeah. yeah okay. 
we have a two turn, it looks like, from the Inquisitor. Wow, Countdown is not going to get punished severely here. <laughs> Gives the, pushes the limit and gives the stress to Yor. Grabs the target lock on quick draw. Yeah, I'm afraid Countdown will get hurt. Yeah. One bank, no, one straight. Wow. It's bad all around for Makante. He may not even have arc on your. Ah, yeah. Looks like he still has arc. Okay, it depends on what uh, Dave's quick draw will do there. Looks like a something red. Yeah. Sloop. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, Countdown is not in such a bad position there. No, Countdown is going to escape the whole round unhurt. <laughs> so I think Bakkan's eye came out of that pretty well, yep. given that he got blocked. <laughs> I mean, a lot depends on the dice. And Marc andre needs new dice. Yes, he does. <laughs> Oh. oh, man. Expertise. Oh, expertise. Right. So that's good. So, yours that, is dead. That's a dead shuttle. Yeah. Okay. So it's a new game. Yep. And the only thing happening here is uh, Dave's quick draw is going to take a shot on Marc-André's quick draw. Uh, you think that Countdown doesn't have a shot on the Inquisitor? I don't think so. Tough to say. What's Dave thinking about? <laughs> His next meal. Do it, Dave, shoot. <laughs> it's a game with shooting, Dave, shoot. Whoa. Oh, not Jesus. ease. Dave has really good dice. He does. Yeah, MacAndre should play with but, them. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I mean, it also makes you feel a little sad for Dave, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> his love life must be terrible. <laughs> I mean, if the rule yeah, yeah. expressed. Okay. Oh, okay, not bad. So that I was a blank. Was, yeah. yeah, I think that was two. So yeah, one shield. And now the question is, does MacAndre shoot back at Dave and take maybe another <laughs> shot? <laughs> yeah. I think you do. Yeah, I would. I would. Oh, if he's got the target lock. No, he hasn't shot yet. He'll get the target lock this round, right? He's taking the shot. Yep. Nope. Oh, I see. He's doing things in the proper procedure. That's good. Whoa! No, oh, nice. Nice. Suddenly his, 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 his wife, his wife is with somebody else right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Two damage. Okay. So he's going to get back, shot back. Wow. Yeah. He's going to come out on ahead in this round. Well, until we see this. Yeah. Okay. It's a good thing that it's only once per turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they could grind, grind each other down. One of eight. Okay. And so Marc-André's quick draw is out of shields. Ouch. But Dave only has one shield left. Mm -hmm. So it was a pretty close trade-off. And in the same round, uh, Malcolm got the shuttle. Yeah. Oh, I guess there is arc. Oh, no, they're deciding. Nothing to modify. Woohoo. Okay. Oh, oh the nice. The Inquisitor doesn't carry his token stacks from here till Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, 
This is not bad for Marc-Andre. He's in a position that's not so bad. And he's got a harpoon missile. Yep. And he has Dave's quick draw target lock. Uh, do you think that Marc-Andre's quick draw should do a slew left in hope to get kind of behind the other quick draw? It's very tempting. And he has prime thrusters, so not only can he sloop one way or the other, he can also reposition after it. Yeah, to get the range for the uh, harpoons. Or get somewhere that Dave just won't expect him to be. Yeah. Now Dave can do... He's stressed, although we can't see his stress. Um, Dave probably has to do a short move with his quick draw, just to avoid Countdown's arc. Yeah. Inquisitor has to get his butt turned around. I mean, Inquisitor's facing the wrong way now. Three turn, maybe, to the left. And what do you do with Countdown? Just a hard turn? Just a one bank to the right. Yeah. Focus. If Dave puts his quick draw in your arc, you shoot him. Yeah. And this is precisely the kind of situation where countdown starts to be worth more and more. With the with the uh, position they have now, it's very unlikely that Dave is going to get both his ships on countdown anytime soon. Yeah. So for all intents and purposes, you can only do one damage to uh, to countdown around, and that's great. Yeah. And he doesn't even have to spend his token to deal with that. So he can just tank and shoot, tank and shoot. I really hope they bring back Countdown in the next, in 2.0. Yeah. <laughs> It's a very powerful ability, so I don't know. They, they've not spo spoiled it yet, right? I don't think they spoiled any of the named strikers. Oh, okay, only Oh, no, Duchess has been spoiled. Okay. Duchess is coming back. And now, uh, she still has the ability not to do her uh, aileron maneuver if she doesn't want to. But she can also do her aileron if she is stressed. Wow. So she can choose. Okay. I really like that ability. It's very flexible, and I like flexibility and positioning. Yep. They're my favorite things. My favorite ships are probably, in the Imperials, are the TIE Phantom and the Striker. So I like position. Yeah. But, yeah. But the TIE Phantom is hard to play these days. It's so, impossible. Yeah. At some point it was too strong, and now it's... Uh, It's a glass cannon, but yeah. a brittle glass cannon in a really, really uh, thin I mean, the, glass. <laughs> the problem with Whisper now is everybody's higher PS than you. Everybody's yeah. 10 or 11. Yeah. And it's bad if you don't have a shot, but it's even worse if you don't have a shot to cloak. Exactly. If you yeah. can't cloak, you're dead. All right, what's happening? Too hard? Yeah, it looks like that. Something green? Oh, it is oh. the one bank. Okay. okay. Countdown is also a fabulous blocker right now. But he's just going to focus. Oh. Oh, maybe he's going for a quick draw. Yep. So that barrel roll is going to prevent Dave's quick draw from doing a small green move and then repositioning. He yep. won't be able to barrel roll left. But the striker is uh, starving <laughs> for action. Mm -hmm. There's a problem there. It's not a problem, but you know, you have difficult choices to make. Yeah. Well, I think the striker will actually be good for the game, balanced yep. in second edition because of that. Because it's got one action per round, and that's it. Mm. I'm not sure we'll see. Oh no, he's not on the rock, is he? That's close. Uh, he went to the Imperial Academy, so it's, uh, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. You don't get to be an Inquisitor by crashing on rocks. No. <laughs> <laughs> But it doesn't look like there'll be lightweight frames in uh, second edition. No. So that means the SF is going to be a totally different ship when they get to releasing yeah. it. Like when it was first released, two dice is just not enough to be an Imperial ace. Only 
25 minutes left in the round. Important judge call going on over there. Yeah, the judge is probably hitting on my wife, so he didn't hear the call. We'll see if your dice luck changed. <laughs> Right. Okay. That's a good a good spot. It's unlikely that Dave's quick draw is gonna get actually he's got a barrel roll. <clears throat> yeah, I think he should have done the sloop instead. Yeah, I'm afraid he's gonna move and the other quick draw won't be in his arc anymore. Mm -hmm. Or maybe he's hoping for him to go right or left. Looks like a one bank to the left, so... Okay, that's such a bad... Oh, it's a bad... Ooh. Uh, oh, oh. And there we have the problem with the striker model. It was not a bump. Close. So, this is a bit rough for Dave B, but I think overall it's what he wants. Oh, well, you can still barrel roll out of uh, Quick Draw's arc, no? Oh, you're, uh, I don't know if it'll make it. It's going to be on the line if he does it. Yeah. Yep, he's going to take advantage of a 1.0 barrel roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, boy, that's close. It's a laser call. Yeah. I think that's out. Probably still range one of the striker though. Mm -hmm. But now, if Countdown shoots Quick Draw, the Dave's Quick Draw, Dave's Quick Draw will probably kill. Yeah. Did he forget about his target lock? What happened? Four He's firing on the Inquisitor. Oh, I see. Right, all right. Oof. Oof. Oh, oh, man. Oh! oh. <laughs> wow. Well, well, with dice like that, well, what are you going to do? No. We should have counted how many blanks he rolled today because... Yeah. Wow. Oh, Countdown might as well take a shot now. <laughs> it's Countdown versus the world. Yeah. Wow. Man, that was rough. He didn't even get that last shield uh, off with his own quick draw. Whoa! Hot fire! Countdown is pissed. Oh, oh. man. Dave is really good with his dice. He is. His partner just doesn't like him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm kind of sad that we're not going to be able to use that metaphor in the other videos. Because it's a good joke with the relationship between how much their spouse is like yeah. and, the, and the dice. Because we could try using it in another video, but then we won't have it explained. Yeah, so exactly. <laughs> we can only use it in this video. So it's pretty much... But you know what? Dave's game. Oh, yeah. But uh, Marc-André rolling blanks like that. Mm -hmm. When I roll within a cup like that, or a you know, the green mat, mm -hmm. I roll crap. Mm -hmm. And then I, when I roll on the play mat, I roll mm -hmm. good. So, I don't know. Could be the stream. Probably. Uh, <laughs> I, I usually have very, very bad dice luck. But if they put me on stream, suddenly I get great dice luck. Really? So, okay. you know. <laughs> Could be some relationship there. But I'm sure it's all in my head, so. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's funny we say all these things, but we don't actually believe them. No. I don't know, well, we saw Marc-André roll like <laughs> really good hits, so yeah. it's an average. Yeah. All right, what do you do if you're calm down now? You probably can't dodge uh, Quick Draw's arc. So you have to get somewhere where you can take a shot on Quick Draw. But I think Quick Draw's just doing a one straight. Really? Or a one bank. No sloop? Nah. No. He's gonna shoot out of his butt. Yeah. 
And you have to do this aileron with Countdown. Why? Two or three hard? Seems to be some kind of dial confusion. What? Okay. Barrel roll left? Yeah. I mean, you have to block. Quick draw. Countdown can throw down with one of these ships, but not both. No. And I would be surprised that Countdown can take the Inquisitor in one shot. So. Oh, yeah. It's almost impossible. Mm. Countdown will be very lucky to get one damage through the Inquisitor. Wow. Oh, it's going to be an unmodified attack, so... Yeah. And an unmodified defense, but he will be able to use... The ability of Countdown. What did he do? Oh! Wow. I mean, okay. you gotta hand it to Marc Andre. He called it. <laughs> but it is a good long term move from Dave. Even if he doesn't get to shoot with quick draw this round. Every round afterwards, he's going to be behind Countdown. Yeah. Ouch. And Countdown's ability is once per round or once per attack? Uh, he could do it. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, In he's going to take a stress. Yeah. Endlessly, but unless he's got some way to get rid of his stress, he's yeah. stuck. Doing it once a round. Oh man, again, yeah. again. Oh. Wow. I have a, a hammer in my trunk, I should. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Wow. I think Marc Andre's dice don't fear him enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, in my dice bag, I have a broken dice mm -hmm. that I hammered. <laughs> so I keep it with the other dice to remind them that they need to roll stuff good. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a gangster. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, that's good, that's good. Yeah. But the Inquisitor has an evade token. He needs to blank if... Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we'll say that Marc-André got the curse, uh, the stream curse. Yeah. He looks to be smiling, so it must not be that bad. I mean, the one thing about blanking out a lot in a game is then you don't blame yourself. No, exactly. That, that wasn't your fault. No. All right. We have 16 minutes left. Can Malcolm andre do anything other than try to slow, to prevent Dave from killing Countdown? I don't really see it. How does he come back? No. Even with the adaptative uh, L run, he's not fast enough, you know, to get out of there, so... And the other guys position after him anyway. Yeah. Oh, it's adaptive L run. I keep saying adaptative. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a lot of alliteration <laughs> for everybody, yeah. adaptive L runs. I think it took everybody a long time to figure out how to pronounce ailerons. Ailerons? Yeah. yeah. It's not like a common word. <laughs> it's a French word, I think. Aileron. We say yeah. aileron, so it's within the same. So. Mm -hmm. All right. One straight. Yep. Maybe he's hoping that quick draw will go past him. I wouldn't count on it. Yeah. I think he's trying to barrel roll right. No. Can't do it. Oh, 
All you can do is take a focus. Four K turn. Four K. But he didn't turn. I'm not sure what that meant. Whose dial is that one? I think he, I think he flipped that one and moved the Inquisitor, but did not uh, did the turn. Oh, I see. Right, right, right. Because he was already stressed, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's a double stressed Inquisitor now. Yeah. Wow, some hope. Some hope for Marc Andre. So no attack that round. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So as uh, Death Revive said, he must have dialed in a 4K when he was already stressed. Did a white instead. Yeah, so gives two you two white. white instead. Thank you, Death Revive 1991. So, all Countdown has to do is do three damage to Quick Draw before Quick Draw does three damage to him. <laughs> that's all. Oh, that's it. It's easy. Yeah. Anybody could do that. And then he'll still lose on points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At some point, he will have to turn around, but that will leave him open, you know. Yeah. Does he dare the sloop here? I mean, if it's me, I'd do the sloop just because I want my misery to be over. Yeah. Oh, he's oh. on the run. Debris. Yeah. Okay. And lucky as he is, he's going to roll a crit. Yeah. Oh. Phew. <laughs> One bank from Quick Draw. And. Nope. Right. Right. Inquisitor first. Is he short of stress? He should have. No, only one. Well, if he did a 4K last round and he was stressed, he would clear none. No, no. You did a, when you were stressed, you do a two white? Yeah, right, right, right. right. So he's come back around. Yeah, man, the I'm thing is that it. we know where this is going, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> by this. <laughs> <I'm Anisha>. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, this is bad. Yeah, probably gonna do a barrel roll. Yep. You want to bet something on <laughs> Countdown Survival? Or? Sure. Um, <laughs> 25 cents is the Countdown will live. Wow. Yeah, no. <laughs> Why, there's a crit in there? He's stressed? Yep. There's nothing he can do about this. I mean, he can roll magic dice. Yep. That's about it. Oh. Those are not magic dice. No, it no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. So you'll take hit crit. What's the crit? Oh, I didn't see. Bring it, bring it. No, oh. polo. Loose stabilizer. Okay. Hilarious. His white moves now cause stress. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Ugh. Inquisitor has arc, target lock, and a focus. Oh boy. Yep. Okay. So, three evades. Yeah. That's, that's Again, one needs. more blank. Two more blanks. Yeah. I well, have, okay. I guess I order you a quarter, Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> wow, huh? Wow. We've witnessed unluckiness. <laughs> we did. We did. We did. Oh, sorry. That, was, that was pretty awful. Wow. You really need to change dice. Yeah. 
Well, but okay. you know what? Next round, he might roll only natties all the way. He'll through. get all the luck. Yeah. Yeah. But still. Probably wow. not, but you know, <laughs> it would be nice if it worked that way. Yeah. Well, good show, Marc-André. Yeah. Well done, Dave Brunel.